Hello friends of semlogapsblogspot.com Today I'm going to show you how to create an Android application for a radio streaming app to stream your favorite radio on Android. What is needed is this powerful tool that is available at the page appinventor.mit.edu and it's called MIT App Inventor. This is revision 2 of the tool. Maybe you saw my video about the same application done in MIT App Inventor Classic. So this is a new and improved tutorial. So let's start by clicking on the create button to create our application. We have to select uh, your mail in the Google account. You have to have a mail on Gmail. So you click on permit and uh, here you will see all your your existing project if you have done before or you will have a blank screen. App Inventor is a tool that uh, lets you create Android application for free and is totally cloud-based so you don't have to install anything on your PC to work on it. Let's create a new project and let's call it tutorial underscore ENG simple radio and then click Okay, here we have the what is called the design editor where you have the layout of your application user interface. So we start by uh, putting a background image. So we click on the upload file and we select the file. I created a JPEG background image for this application. After you select it, you go to background image and you select this file. Remember to put background color to none to show all your components over the background. We change also the title of the application to simple radio. So we see that the changes appear here. Now from the layout palette I'm uh, dragging an horizontal arrangement where we will put uh, three buttons for our application. I will explain you shortly what this button will be used for. So first button is the button to play the radio station so we call it BN play and we remove the text on it. I will explain you shortly why we are doing like that. Then we have button stop to stop the radio station, also we don't want any text on it. And then we have the button to exit the application, also removing all the text. We remove the text because we want to use icons instead of text. So you see image, we can upload the file. I took these files from Econspedia and you see for example the play PNG image. We are loading it and you see it appear uh, immediately in uh, our uh, design editor. Then I'm going to the stop button and uh, last uh, I'm going to put the exit button. The best image that I was able to find is this one like an eject button. To put finishing touches on the interface I'm loading also an uh, image whose picture will be the picture of a pop music uh, logo. If you use PNG picture you can set the transparent background so it will blend nicely with uh, your uh, background and also on the screen one I want to put these uh, uh, components aligned uh, in the center way or in the horizontally to align them also vertically we have to disable the scrollable checkbox and so we can center all our application in the our interface of course now we have to add the main component which is found in the media palette and this component is the player component it's a non-visible component so it goes down there but it will enable us to use it uh, in the blocks editor to be able to actually stream our radio station. Very important to check that uh, you don't use play only in foreground if you want your Android streaming application to stream music also when the application is put in background. Uh, don't worry because if a call arrive uh, then the music is automatically stopped and then it will uh, resume as soon as you finish uh, your phone call. We will set the properties for the player later on in the blocks editor. To finish our UI elements if you want to change default uh, application icon just uh, click on icon and select any PNG or JPEG or GIF image. We are using the same pop music 
basic logo that we used in our application this will be also the icon of our application if you want later on to publish it in the play store here you can control the version code and version name of your application now we are going to move to the blocks editor where we will program the actual component for play, stop and exiting the application. So stay tuned for part 2 of this tutorial. Thank you.